Okay, Carlos, so explain to us um, how the universe can come into being if not from a God. Well, going into physics and observation, uh, I have to take you back to the 60s. And people involved in uh, quantum electrodynamics, is a branch of quantum physics, they created a vacuum, a box, where they eliminated any form of matter or of energy. All right? Mm -hmm. So, a vacuum. And then they sat there looking at it. Well, I'm joking, but you know, it means there were um, little cameras and yeah, they were uh, observing. measurements, yeah. um, apparatuses. So, what they found, to their most uh, incredible amazement, that there's actually particles, that's why they call them virtual particles, out of this vacuum came up. Yeah? They, 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 they would go up and and then disappear, um, but they kept on uh, happening, it kept on going on. And they did a lot of experiments, they've repeated it thousands and thousands of times. Every time they'll create a vacuum, even a huge vacuum, big, big room, you know, and so forth, it would happen again. Even there is the Casimir effect, you tell me if I'm getting too complex, okay? Uh, in a box where, where there is a vacuum, they'll put two metal plates, and after a while you'll see the two uh, metal plates moving, you know, due to the force exerted by this virtual part. Okay? Now, making a complex uh, discussion a little bit easy to follow, so it's easy to see see that even if this universe stretches, stretches, stretches and then disappears kind of thing, what will always remain is a kind of this quantum vacuum energy, all right? So there is an ultimate form of energy which is uncreated and infinite where there is, by mean nothing, I mean no thing in it. There are no particles, okay? So even if this universe were to disappear and all that remained was this quantum energy, again there'll be particles popping up, creating oscillations, waves within this uh, quantum vacuum, and out of these waves, you know, there will be vibrations that create particles, and universes will be born, will perish, some universe will be very long, developed a long way, some very short, okay? So, there is a lot of evidence for it, more and more uh, we study, we research, more and more we are going into that direction. And it's a fascinating uh, field of study, you know. I, I so did the quantum uh, vacuum exist prior to this version of the universe? Absolutely. I mean, uh, according to these hypotheses, um, it is still an hypothesis, but there is a lot more evidence for this hypothesis than from some supernatural being. So, yes, the, 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 the thought, uh, the, the hypothesis, the theory, is that this energy was before this universe and any other universe. You so know. what evidence is there, what observations or evidence is there to suggest this is the case? Well, that's what I gave, is that even when you create a vacuum with, with no dash thing in it, you know, there is still an energy that remains, you know, which is called quantum energy, and that energy can fluctuate and create matter. Why does a vibration, an oscillation in quantum, in the quantum vacuum, why does it create matter? That's a study called quantum field theory. But basically, when it vibrates, it creates particles. You know, and those, one, one or more of those particles could become a universe like we have. Yeah, or parts of a universe, the particles that then create a universe, you see. So, it is a very elegant, I find it's a very elegant model, 
uh, as I said, I have Is there mathematics as well that, that oh, points yes, to yes, this? Absolutely, you, you know. Uh, the equations are there and, um, you know, I had studied uh, cosmology for two years, you know, just as a passion, just as an interest. Uh, I was thinking to stop, you know, and say, okay, now I know enough, you know, to know how the universe has developed and so forth. But when I came across this field of study, I went, oh, it's so fascinating, I'm going to do another year, you know, and study more quantum field theory and so forth, because it's elegant, it's very beautiful, you know, and it explains. And you were mentioning that you've got a, you've got some certificate yeah, now, what is that? a certificate in cosmology. So what is it called, sorry? You know, it's a university certificate in cosmology, specializing in the first one billion years of the creation of the cosmos, you know. uh, but I got quite a few other certificates, but this one is a proper one-year university course, you know, but I'm going back to it just to explore this, and I think just to, to complete, it's a much more elegant explanation of the universe than some being that is outside of it, that creates it to be worshipped, and if you don't worship it, he'll hurt you. He'll torture you. Uh, give me a quantum vacuum any day. <laughs>